You know what kind of surprises me? The fact that they actually added hardcore to the bedrock edition of the game. Now this has been, I mean, wanted by the community for so long. Like, as long as I can remember. And I think that's partly why they added it. And some would say because of the hardcore edition being added to bedrock edition, we are slowly becoming... A, a better version of the game, and, uh, yeah, on par with Java. Although, I mean, not, not that it's a competition or anything, I think there is seriously one thing in the Java edition that Bedrock is lacking so much. I honestly think everybody will agree with me when I say this. There is a feature on the Java edition that everybody would love on the Bedrock edition. Everybody and if you don't know what feature that is it's the fact that on the launcher of the mine the minecraft launcher Which is just the minecraft launcher which actually you can access bedrock fire it You can actually get every single version of java and you can upload it uh, Install it and play it and it goes all the way back down to the old, old versions of the game. The alpha versions of the game. You can literally download these versions, every single one if you wanted to, and go through and play them one by one. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but there's something missing in this list. And yeah, that is right. It is the complete bedrock edition updates list. You literally cannot access the old versions of of uh, bedrock which is kind of dumb it would be a really nice feature to have this in game so unless you do what i'm about to show you today you're literally stuck in the main version of the game you can't go back so that means you can't experience the bedrock history and go back through updates i really feel like they should push this as kind of a feature uh, of the game because the community really do like going back and going through history they really do it's like I don't know, the amount of people I get ask me, James, have you got this version of the game so I can just go back? Um, you know what I'm saying? The answer is no. But what I can do is show you this uh, on how I go back versions if I want to. So, if, so the first thing you're going to want to do if you are going to want to go back versions is simply save any world to your hard drive. Alright, save it, export it, make sure you got a copy of it. That way you're not going to be able to kind of, uh, yeah, lose it. You know what I'm saying? Either way... If you've loaded your world in a newer version of the game, you are not going to be able to load it in a previous version. That is just how the game works. I believe it's something to do with how the chunks save. So, like, they used to save in a different way. They change it, like, all the time. So, through the different updates, sometimes you would be able to go back. And, yeah, other times, it just completely corrupts your world. So yeah, make a copy of any world you want to save, and you are ready to do the next step. Next step is really, really simple. You're going to want to go to the link in the description below, and simply download this. It's MC Launcher Zip. So again, you're going to want to come to the link in the description, click on this, and download it. And then you should have a file, and it will look a little bit like this. Let me show you. Although it won't. Basically, it will have like a zip, a locked up zip on it. You'll have to right click and then it will say extract all. You're going to want to extract all and it will give you this file. I've already used this file. So that's why it's like this. And that's why it's got like 13 gig in. Because if I open it, I've got many different versions of the world. And long story short, what we're looking for is right here. You see this? We're looking for this thing. You want to click that and then you click yes. And then it will pop up with this, all right? So now we've got this. We can basically get rid of this if we want. Actually, no, we'll leave that there. We need that for uh, in, in, in a second. So you see this? We can go back to any version of the game. I'm personally going to go back to one of the oldest versions just because I think it's fun. So let's download one of the oldest versions. Maybe I've already got these versions on. Oh, no, it says not installed. All right. So basically, you just go like this. So these are the ones that I've got. You're not going to use this to launch, by the way. So, I've already got that. So, let's download this one. All right. Okay. It says download failed. Download failed. All right. I'm downloading this one. I think the reason it says download failed, it's just Mojang themselves have removed these versions altogether. My friend P3 is working on a new launcher, which I'm going to be making a video on at a later date in time. Basically, I think they're removing quite a lot of versions. 
So, uh, if it says download failed, that is why. Although, yeah, I'm just downloading this one. So, we're going to roll with this one and see what it goes like. So, once we've actually made the download, we're just going to wait right here. As you can see, made the download. It's extracting. Right. And then, you don't want to use this. You don't want to click launch on this. It's not going to work. So, you're going to want to go back to that folder, wherever it is, right here. And then we should find that exact version we downloaded, all right? So if you come here, we're looking for the 0.4.21 version, all right? So we just go here, 0.14.21. All right, no, 0.14.21. That is the right version. And then we're going to want to click on this bit here, all right? At this stage, it will ask you if you want to reinstall the game. You're going to want to reinstall. Remember, you're going to want to copy any worlds before you do this. You could potentially lose them. Uh, so, yeah, just make sure you've done that. And I'm going to reinstall this version of the game. And you can see right now, it's going to reinstall. I would say, actually, you probably want to close down the game as well. So, just let that reinstall. And obviously, have the game closed down. And there we go. We can actually just launch the game like normal. So, you could press this like here. And we'll click launch. And this will just launch the game like normal. I do have to say, you have to own the game to be able to do this. You can't just do this for free. Um, yeah, you do have to uh, own the game, all right? So, it will not work if you do not own the game. All right, apparently, yeah, launching it from here doesn't work. So, what I will do is launch it from down here. Sometimes, I will say, it doesn't it, it doesn't always work. Obviously, older versions of the game are a lot like, like battered and more glitchy so you will notice that if you load the older versions up like i'm doing now potentially there's going to be a bunch more crashes uh there could be a bunch more glitches you know just stuff like that but i wouldn't uh it doesn't like get to you that much i remember doing speed runs in the 1.16 version oh my days look at this this is insane so this was actually the windows 10 edition beta wow look at this so let's create a world so i don't know if my worlds are going to be there oh my god my worlds are actually here wow my worlds are all there but i can't open them because yeah you i'll click on one just to show you see how glitchy it is all right here we go you see this a new version of the game has been saved on this level it cannot be loaded unable to connect to world so yeah we can't actually connect to the world but what we can do is make a new world and experience the past as it was so we're gonna we'll just call it my world for the lols we'll go in creative look how basic this was you see what i mean like many people haven't played this version of the game like this is this version of the game is when like you literally get all this stuff pre in your inventory i'm not really sure how i've managed to turn around like that <laughs> um how do we turn around all right i figured it out there we go damn just look at this version like i said you get all this the old textures which is really good it's really nostalgic if you haven't played on these textures <laughs> dude you miss it out this was the ogs this was kind of like the bed uh the xbox version i would say as well even the creative's a bit janky but yeah, you can literally... Let's see what we got in here. If, if there's any items that have been discontinued. Look at the netherrack. That just looks so good. So, straight up, I don't see any items that has been discontinued. But I actually, yeah, no, this stone cutter. We don't have that stone cutter anymore. I think these mushroom blocks, maybe. Wow. Look at the heads. Look at the textures of the heads. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just this uh, stone cutter. Let me grab this right now. Damn, I can't even go down. I just have to keep dropping down like that. It just looks so cool. It's all very basic, very simple. Go down here near the water. I actually don't realize how much better it's got until you go back and experience it. The game is just like so much better now. You don't realize it. And you still have like so many people, myself included, that moan about the current version and the state of the current version. But just look at that water. Look at that chicken crossing the water. Or is it a duck? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, it's, it's quite good. I would recommend if you haven't gone back and, you know, experienced it, definitely do it. Let's go through to the nether. Let's at least go through to the nether.
I feel like that will be quite fun. Right, we're going through. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Oh, wow. Imagine that. Imagine you just got this in your world. You'd be so upset. <laughs> You'd be like, no. I remember one update of the game that I came in. Uh, for crazy craft and these were just going crazily fast dude that is so bad imagine you loaded in and just got that that is so unfair oh the rest of it's down here well kind of dude they were so bad back in the day look how split up they are oh here it is we found the whole thing pretty cool we just load in and find it straight away it's a pretty nice one as well of course, now there's so many different biomes and structures in the nether itself. Everything changes so fast. And like I said, you don't even realize it changes until you actually go back and have a look. Back through to the overworld. And there we go. Now, remember, do not worry if you want to get rid of this version and you're scared. You're like, oh no, I can't get out. I, wait, I literally can't exit out the game. Alt F4. Oh, that works. Right. I Alt F4 out of the game. Right. So, yeah, you want to upload the main version of the game. It's super, super simple. All right. You just get rid of all this. You can hide that. Keep that in a special place, you know, so you can access it all the time. And then you can go back and find that menu. Remember, you're just going to click on this. I'll just show you before I show you, obviously. And then we're just going to find this one here. And it will bring up that menu. You download it. And then you launch, relaunch it from here. All right. So, yeah. Basically, if you want to get the latest version of the game, you simply go into the store, the Minecraft, Microsoft store, and it said Minecraft store. It's not the Minecraft store. Simply go to downloads, and yeah, you will find, oh my god, is this changed? What the, <laughs> this feels like it's changed so much. Uh, yeah, you, you just go and get updates, and it should bring you the new update of Minecraft. No doubt there's going to be someone like, oh yeah, I'm just stuck in this version forever. I've, I've literally done this for so long. Like, I've gone back versions so much. And I've never been stuck in the version. Like, ever. Um, and even if the update doesn't come up straight away, at some point, it literally will come up. So, like, within, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, it'll come up. And I'll just be in the normal version again. So, obviously, I'll wait right now. <laughs> here we go. Dude, it's just started updating everything. No, but you can see here, it is updating Minecraft as well. Um... Yeah, everything else is getting an update as well, which is kind of long. I'll be back once everything's updated. All right, so we, as you can see, yeah, remodified. Everything else is still updating. But I'll go back on this. Again, I think definitely, definitely they should add this kind of thing into the main game. How good would that be for everyone to experience? I just think it'd be, you know, just epic. It'd be a lot easier as well than having to do all this. Now, if you do download this version again, you'll see... Yeah, you'll get all this, so you'll have to sign in and uh, do all that. Oh, oh my. Dude, I made an illegal skin. It's the sunburnt obelisk. How the... Oh no, the sunburnt obelisk skin's back. How the... Dude. Wait. That is crazy. Look at that. Ah! Anyway, there we go. That is how to, yeah, re-download the main version of the game. That is all I've got time for today. I'll catch you on the next one.